Hey everyone, so I am back. I decided that after I finished doing my uh, sketch marker um, chart, actually I'm going to zoom back out again just so I can show you this. Um, this is the color chart that is actually um, posted from Ellen Hudson. I downloaded it it, she had it in a PDF format, and I downloaded this. It's actually a comparison chart between the Sketch Marker Pro, which is the columns that you can see colored, and the Copic chart, the equivalent Copic color. And this is according to what she had done, I guess, in her testing of the markers. Um, and you can see that there are some gaps here where there's no Copic color listed because she didn't feel there was an equivalent in the Copic spectrum. So I'm going to use the colors. I tried to look at the chart to see if I could find the color that I used from my um, coloring of the um, Mom's Apple Pie stamp from Diana Markham. So you guys saw that I colored this um, stamp using my Copics. Now I'm going to color the same stamp using the sketch markers. And I have never colored with these other than doing the swatch chart. So it's a little bit different. You're going to have to blend and I'm, I want to see how um, the blending goes. I may have some trouble along the way, but hopefully um, it turns out fine. Um, but I want to show you first the chart. It's actually two pages because it is quite a lot of markers. Um, and this is just how she had it, so I wouldn't have to do a lot of work to actually get it on to, into a chart. So um, the way that she organized it was was in this order. And then on a separate page, she actually had, um, you know, the grays and the browns. The blue-greens are here, which is a little strange that she didn't put them on the other page. But I think I, I know what she was trying to do in that case because the spacing is kind of weird. Uh, and the violets are here. So um, there is a missing piece because the reds, there was an extra set of reds that was on a separate page. And I basically cut it out and put it to the right of the red column. This is the oranges. Um, I can't show you the whole thing. But this is the orange column. So I took the reds and um, just uh, cut out that little piece here and then put it over to the right. There's also the same problem with the greens, but there's even more greens. So what I've, what I've done is actually been a little bit smarter and you can slide my chart out of this uh, little holder and here's the rest of the greens that are at the bottom that would normally be at the bottom of the green column. So that's how I kind of did this um, to work out the colors uh, for my color chart. And so that's what I did. Um, so I'm going to color, um, this, I'll probably fast forward this, but I, I went ahead and wrote down all of the colors here. So hopefully you can see them. Um, and I will come in even more when I color. Um, so on the left hand side is the sketch marker, um, color. And then on the right is the Copic color. So, um, if you want to see the colors, you can pause the video, but this is, I didn't, Notice I didn't stamp the big apple on the background of this. Um, so you're not going to see me color the big apple. You saw that already. Um, I'm going to use the reds to color this apple right here. And so this is for the leaf, the one leaf that's on here. And it's really small. Um, this is for the um, pie dish, which I'm going to again color blue. Um, this is the apple, um, which is red. And pie crust. Um, which is kind of your brown, you know, tan color. So I did pick up the colors. If you, if you want to, you know, stop the video and write down the colors, that's up to you. Um, but I did try and you can see, this is kind of me guessing what it is because there wasn't, I did not find an equivalent marker. So I just looked by the color swatch that I originally did and then looked at my sketch marker chart to pick out the colors. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully this turns out okay. Um, let's see. And hopefully I can put um, the video um, on fast forward um, once, once I'm done, you know, once I'm coloring and you can see it all come together. Um, I don't think I'll make the actual card just yet. Okay.
guys, so I'm back um, to give you my thoughts on the whole coloring experience with the markers. Now, I will say that I think I chose some darker, um, well, I chose orange instead of yellows, which, you know, it is what it is, um, because I was looking at the color chart um, to choose the colors. So I, I probably chose darker um, colors to color the pie this time than I, I did with the uh, Copics. Um, the sketch marker pro range for the yellows is, is, um, it's okay. Um, but if I had to choose, you know, colors that, um, are for a pie crust, I don't see the yellows as my options here. Okay. Um, well, actually they were, they were yellow reds on the Copic spectrum, I believe. Um, from the sketch marker perspective, they're on the, in the, in the O range. So they look darker here and I didn't choose, um, a lighter, um, tone in the middle of the, for the middle of the pie, which, you know, maybe that's just color selection. Um, I do notice the, the nibs are about the same the, I kind of feel like the nibs are about the same between the Copic and the sketch marker, um, pro. And I think, you know, given that it is a Japanese nib on here, uh, I believe the ink is as well. So, um, they just seem very similar in terms of when you're coloring. Now the barrel, as you can see, is a, it's a round barrel, not an oval barrel, like a Copic, v still very comfortable. I didn't find it had any issues. Actually, it seems a little bit, maybe a little bit more, com I don't know. It kind of go back and forth because with a Copic, because it is oval, the way I hold a marker when I'm coloring, it's very comfortable. Um, I didn't find this awkward at all using these um, round barrels either. Um, blending. I noticed when I was putting in some of the gray for the apple, um, it decided to kind of push some of the red out a little bit. So it looked a little streaky at first and then I went over it and it seemed to have helped. In this case, I left a little bit lighter area over here on the apple than I did originally when I colored it. So I'm, I'm, I kind of remember to do that because, you know, I watch my videos and I see my own mistakes where I could have probably left something a little bit lighter. Same, same in here. I wish I had chosen a lighter, um, color to go into the pie than I did uh, originally, this not enough contrast for me in the colors I chose. This is more of a color selection issue rather than a marker issue or anything like that. I think, you know, you learn from your mistakes when you're coloring and you adjust as you need. Um, the blues, again, very similar colors. Um, and I think I'm pleased with that. Again, with the grays, um, I noticed that it's uh, a little strange when you're coloring with them. Um, I use them to add shadows. Um, not everybody does and you don't have to, I just choose to, to make it a little bit easier on me. Sometimes it does change the tone of the color a little bit, but I like how it looks in the end. So uh, that's how I choose to do it. Um, but you can see the, uh, original I have here from the Copics. And again, this is a little bit different because I, um, took the, the color instead of it being a stark white. Now it's like a, um, I think it was tea dye that I used tea dye distressing to distress the edges. I can do the same here, but I think I'll, I'll just leave it for now. So I have a, um, you know, uh, example of what I did with it when I was coloring with my sketch markers as I use them more, um, you know, I expect to become more proficient in it. Um, coloring is one of those things you need to practice and I don't practice enough. So I forget some of the things that I've been taught. Um, which is fine for me as well. Um, but like I said, it's one of those things I wanted to experiment with the new markers and, and feel them and take them for a test drive. Um, I know that, you know, obviously this is not normally the way you would go about getting into something new, especially if at this price point, um, not quite the price point of a Copic, but definitely a large sum because I bought so many of them to begin with without trying them out. I'm just not that kind of person. And you guys should know that by now, if you've watched me long enough, that's just not how I operate. Um, but I wanted to, you know, get into something, uh, more. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back to share some more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.